Are you new to caravan and want to change your AGM batteries over to lithium? Wondering whether you can do it yourself or you need an auto electrician? Well, in this video, you're going to watch a real amateur do what he's got to do. So come along and let's throw the coin in the air and see if us, as newbies, can change our AGM over to lithium. We're going to be talking about lithium batteries and um, when we go into this, I'm not an electrical engineer. So all you electrical engineers out there, chill out, this is not for you. But I really don't mind if you listen to what I've got to say and comment in the comment bar. Because what I'm trying to do is uh, direct this video to all us newbies, us non-electrical engineers, us guys who are just handy men or handy women, handy people who are just getting out there caravanning and we want to be handy ourselves. So if you said if you're an electrical engineer or anything switched on, auto electrician, please comment, but tell us what else we could do to make it easier for us type of people. Okay, let me give you a bit of background now. Background story is, I took the AGM batteries out of the caravan when we purchased it, and I dropped two lithium batteries in. Now I'm not so I'm supported by these companies, but I did throw in a Solar King, two Solar King 150 amp batteries into our caravan. Did I charge them up when I first got them? No. Why didn't I do that? Well, we were camped up at a um, caravan park and I just assumed that being on mains power, they should bring them all up and things should be right. 12 months down the track, I haven't had a problem. But it wasn't until I was um, out camping with my cousin and I've got another little um, lithium battery in the back of the truck, back of the utility, if that's what people want to call it, the dual cab that looks after our fridge freezer. Anyway, I kept telling him it wasn't really looking like it was holding charge overnight, etc. So he pulled out his lithium charger and put it on, and it certainly hadn't been charged correctly. I was told by the supply, or not by the supply, by the retail store, if I drive around for an hour, that should bring it up to speed. Sound great to me, thought fantastic. But since then, I've learned through different people and through reading up that when you're charging your batteries up, you need to do it without a load on. So, what we're doing today is 12 months down the track, I've taken the batteries out, I've purchased online, and I don't gain, I'm not a part of them, but kick ass if you want to be a part of Chappie's Travels. I'm always open to a message. I picked up this um, Kick-Ass Smart Battery Charger. Now it says on the front here that it does lithium, does AGM, and also does gel batteries. Why didn't I buy one before? Well, it was too tight. A couple of hundred bucks. It was too tight. Ridiculous situation to be in. So here we are. It's arrived because we're basing ourselves um, at my daughter's place in the driveway for a couple of weeks before we do head off again over to WA. Now remember, we've been on the road for 12 months full time and the batteries really haven't let me down. I just wanna make sure that I got them fully charged. I do get five or six days off grid without rain. I mean, when it's rain and cloudy, but I just wanna see what condition they're in. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna hook this onto the batteries and we're gonna see if we can, all cells are charged, blah, 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 blah. And I'll explain my way through it. First thing you want to do, if you're hanging around with power, well, it was an old army trick, and I think everyone's using it now, use your spinner, you want to insulate it. Nothing worse than getting zapped out and shortened out. Electrical tape up and down, and I've Bob's your uncle. Okay, these things here are 14 mil, so I've disconnected the batteries, I've pulled them out, gave them a great clean, because as I'm telling you, 
12 months on the road and some of the places we've been to are pretty caked up. And now we're going to head over to the caravan and plug this kick ass in to the battery and we'll just see what sort of state it's in. According to my little um, J car, I suppose battery tester or battery um, shunt, tells me they're fully charged. But I do notice they drop down to 90% quick when we're other places. I don't have a smart shunt on this so I can look on my phone and it'll tell me how much juice I've got in it. I use this little J-car one and it'll tell me how many volts are in it and I just convert the volts to um, what I've got in the lithium. If you're looking for that chart, I can send it to you. All right, so let's head over to the caravan and let's hook this charger up to this battery. Come on with me. You know what's cool about this charger? And I do remember when we were out in the field, you got the Anderson plug so you can plug it straight into your um, supply power box. Okay. Or you can hook it up to alligator clips, which we're going to do today. And um, yeah, hook it straight directly to the battery. I do know he said there's a specific way you need to do this and we should read the instructions and the manual. And that's what I'm going to do. But I remember from reading the instructions is that you plug it in, you hook, you hook it all on, you plug it in, you wait for a second, you press a button, and then it's going to run it up and down its computer and tell you what cells need charging, etc. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to plug it in and bring the camera up to see if we can focus on the um, LED screen on the um, kick-ass charger. Let's see how we go, eh? Fingers crossed it works and I don't blow anything up. Remembering, red's positive, black's negative. I'll bring you down and show you what's looking on the screen. Well, after reading the uh, manual, I realized to get into lithium mode, which is up there, what I need to do is within 10 seconds of plugging this in, I need to hold that mode down so it will flick over the lithium. What it's doing that it wasn't doing before is I can hear that the fan is in charge. All these digits here are different programs to what it does. Okay, now this one here, number one, is the um, battery diagnosed and pre-charge stage and a desulfification. Oh, look, it keeps going. And number three is a soft start. Number four, jeepers, is a bulk for major charging. Then you go on the adsorption and then blah, blah, blah. But if you read the manual, it tells you what's going on. Now, it's finished what it's supposed to do. And um, yeah, all is good. It's saying it's full. So really, this battery was in pretty good nick. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, well, it's all pretty good. I fully charged these here and they, they both come up in the LED that they're 14.3, 14.4 volts. I put the multimeter on and that's the whistle for the jug. So what we'll do now is just go reinsert these batteries, install them. You know what, let me tell you a story. When I was um, pulling these batteries out, I was wondering why the diesel heater wasn't working. And um, anyway, the positive cable that went from the diesel heater that I used to hook on, it had shorted out. So it's a good idea to check your gear. For all those newbies out there, number one, check your gear. So I took the opportunity to tidy everything up, straighten everything up, even sorted out the arm, um, as I said, the, the diesel heater positive, because it had shorted out, and I'd never known, unless we actually pulled these off. So it's time to hook all these back up. Well, I've got them back in the box. I didn't video it, because it wasn't a pretty sight. I shorted it out a couple of times, nothing dangerous. Mama bears him watching and said, this has happened, that's happened. But everything's right. Everything's packed together nice and neat. Now just putting the security boxes back on them. Then I'll get around and have a talk to you. And we'll do a conclusion of what we've done. Oh, 
can't see through the glasses. So with a 14 mil spanner and insulated, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. No, no, really, look. What I'm going to say here, if you can change a car battery, you can change your lithium batteries. If you do an AGM, want to flick them over to lithium, just remember, find out what your um, management system is in your caravan and whether you've got to do any switches to turn it over from, a, from AGM over to lithium. You get that right. If you're a little bit unsure, just get your mate or auto electrician to do it. Be fair to income about yourself. But like I always say, it doesn't take much for us to be handy. If you're handy, you can get yourself out of strife when you're out in the paddock or out in the bush. Great thing about doing this, I found out where the um, diesel heater was shortened out. So I've re-insulated, I've resorted it all out, put some cover on it, and it won't happen again. <laughs> My famous last words. So, I reckon you might have got a fair bit out of this. If you didn't, you got a lot out of it. All you electrical engineers, I'm waiting for your comments. Maybe you can put something together for us newbies. But I reckon this will help us out too. Caravaning is lots of fun. And even more fun when you get down and do a few things yourself. It makes you feel alive again. And talking about feeling alive, if you're not out there traveling, why not? Take it easy.